Every day, a diesel bus is taking a minimum to run in a day, a minimum of 8,000, to get a collection of only 18,000. So that is tentatively 50 to 60 percent of what you collect daily. If you translate that in a year, in a month, it's 8 times 30, that is 240. Multiply by 12. In 8 years, whether I like it or not, you'll spend on diesel alone, diesel alone, 22 million. So, at the end of the day, it is more cost effective to spend the 21 million on an e-bus, which will last you for the next eight years, and you are a shareholder, as compared to paying a diesel 21 million in eight years, and you are not a shareholder of any petrol station. Number two, every month you have to spend 15 to 20,000 to service the vehicle. That is, per year you are talking about another uh, 180 to 200,000. That is only oil, service, normal service. You have not touched on any other part like the bearings, like the greasing, like the tires. And there are other costs, the clutch the brakes, the brake pants, the springs, all these costs, in fact, they make you in a diesel engine, they make you a slave. And that's why it takes you longer for you to recoup back your investment than as compared to the e-buses. Simple mathematics, within the next two years, God willing, I'm guaranteed of 250 and above every month from an e-bus. That is 2.5 million to 3 million in a year. So year two, I have recouped back my investment, yet I have another six years to continue with the bus single in that contract, and which I'm not meeting any cost to maintain the battery or anything other than only tires. And this bus, within a year, you will not even touch on the tires. So it is very cost effective and it is a dream. It is, is a gold mine for anyone who wants to invest in the future uh, is supposed even to think about. So don't look at the element of how much it is costing today because whether you like it or not, you will spend the 21 million. Being a share, you are just a distributor. You get revenue distribute. The 18,000 you get in a day, you distribute it to other to spare parts, to diesel, to crutch. To... So in the end, the diesel engine running makes you, a, why our chairman used to call it, a poor millionaire. Because you handle millions, but you get peanuts out of it. The net effect of a diesel engine is a thousand or two. But here you get a net of 10K is your 10 take home. Yeah.